Son, sit here at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. Oh, the long suffering of God. Oh, his patience. I mean, I just know this much of the evil that's going on in the world today. God knows it all. And he puts up with it. Though it grieves his heart, he patiently waits. And what's he waiting for? Well, his son is out of place. His son deserves to be honored and esteemed and worshipped and revered. And instead, his name is dragged through the gutter. We had an incident up near Grand Rapids where the picture of the Lord Jesus, at least this representative picture, they've covered it with a piece of velvet. Because there was a student there who was deeply offended by this paint of the picture there. So now they've decided that, well, we can leave it there as long as we put a picture of Abraham Lincoln and Martin Luther King Jr. up there and make sure that they're all at exactly the same level. You remember when Nicodemus came to the Lord Jesus and Nicodemus said, we know you're a teacher come from God. In other words, we'll accept you as an equal. We'll accept you as a peer. I'm a teacher, you're a teacher, let's have a little theological discussion. And the Lord Jesus turned to Nicodemus and said, excuse me, Nicodemus, you don't need a teacher, you need a savior. You must be born again. And I tell you this, that no man has ascended into heaven, Nicodemus, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. Nicodemus, I'm not on your level. I'm the Lord. I tell you, for men to put the Lord Jesus on the same level with Abraham Lincoln and Martin Luther King, they think they're doing a big thing, don't they? I'm looking forward to the day when he'll get his due and every knee will bow. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. I'm going to be there. And I'm looking forward to that day. He deserves it. He deserves it in my heart right now. If I'm going to get in that place then, why not get in that place now? The Father is waiting for that. You know, if there was any passage of Scripture that would be God's favorite text, it would be this. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. And, son, sit here at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. God never gets tired of reminding us of the king priest and his rightful place in the universe. Those two scriptures are quoted more often than any other scripture in the Bible, eleven times between them. Because God doesn't want us to lose sight of this that the one who is so badly maligned today is both Lord and Christ, and he deserves that place in our hearts and lives.